Hey guys, Mike Michelini here. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And I did a blog about this, but I'm trying this whole new video blogging thing out and I want to just break down. I have some bunch of equipment in my bag. I'm a travel blogger, podcaster dude uh, between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. And I haven't done stuff video much, still just practicing kinda. And I want to just break down all my gear. And I know Will Lee and a bunch of my other friends are gonna like this, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, now let's get started here. Show you some of my gadgets. So, here is an iPod, which I only use to listen to podcasts. So I have a bunch of different podcasts. So when I'm gonna go, I just use it as a iOS 6. This is my China phone, so we can see here it basically has no no Google products allowed so it's basically uh, pretty useless to me I mean I kinda have QQ on it which is a chat app here um, but besides using it for uh, QQ I don't use it for anything I basically tether my um, my internet so that I can uh, connect my device is when I'm uh, on the go hotspot so that's what I use this for it's also a CDMA phone so it uh, it's a cool pad so we got those two this is another phone HTC I've had this for a few years bought it used from a buddy um, in Hong Kong Leon and I used to use this a lot but basically this is just a phone number I use it to call people in China it's a single sim GSM HTC uh, really old phone but it's basically just my phone number and I also sync my contacts another thing about this one it doesn't sync contacts so I have to manually store them on my uh, on my um, sim card this is a pretty cool little gift I got from Tencent it's a uh, USB uh, mouse so I just like this one I'm uh, on the go. Of course this thing for my Apple uh, I'm always doing presentations everywhere and meetings one of my uh, USB sticks. This cool uh, pack here Mike Moe gave me this in Manila Philippines when I was living there thanks Mike still using it to this day and uh, just I'm trying to neaten up a little bit and inside here I have tons of USBs and wires so um, yeah I know a lot of people ask me why this is actually I use this in taxis in China I stick this into the taxi so that I can maybe charge my phone when I'm in an emergency uh, I, you know I can never predict all kinds of little adapters and widgets and people think I'm crazy until I'm in an event where there's a uh, three different people that need three different files at the same time backup battery for my HTC here dedicated charger for my Samsung Note 3 which has the battery here for the Note 3 so I jam, jam that in there another external charger for uh, sometimes I charge like my Note, Note 3 like that charges thanks Nick from Huachan Bay Give me that another just adapter charger this actually I use a lot it was a it was a like a door gift from a trade fair but uh, I use it for adapting like SD cards and, and things to my computer and then here's another splitter for uh, for basically uh, you know taking multiple of these USB devices and popping into my Mac Air and then here's another one this here I carry as a backup Wi-Fi hotspot so when this basically burns out a battery I can quickly just stick the sim in here and I have a hotspot so this is my battle gear for war doing business here and uh, I got a bunch of other stuff I'll do another video clip in a second okay and let's do another round of stuff that I carry in my bag every day so of course laptop uh, Mac Air 13 inch with stickers all over it just because chargers 
constantly ready to get jammed in when I'm uh, on the go. I got the US USB 3 and the uh, USB 2. So for all my phones, the Note 3, which I'm recording, is a Note USB 3 and, or USB 2 with a Note 3. Sorry, USB regular for the other phones. Terabyte portable hard drive. Western Digital picked this up when I was in the U.S. Uh, massive backup battery, uh, dual import, dual port. Actually, my buddy Darwin gave me this. He makes these in China, sells them on eBay. So some people might have bought them. Kindle, Kindle uh, Paper Light, which I love to uh, carry on the go when I'm traveling with uh, its cable, another USB cable, but I keep it separate with that one. And then uh, USB mic, Samsung uh, CO1U from Gary Lamb, gift to motivate me to do podcasts. Thanks again, Gary, for that. Uh, another adapter for my Mac, uh, sorry, Apple iPod for my podcast listening. Uh, and then noise canceling speakers, Audio Technica with a. I like it because you can separate it, and then you can also, you can also fold it up. So I got a little bag for that. Also got the bag for the uh, terabyte drive. Now for some non-tech stuff. I carry my vitamins. I still take daily vitamins. My mom and dad got me on Flintstones when I was a kid. Notebook. After all this, I still like. Notebook from AdTech Meetup in Shanghai. I'm always just burning through notebooks. Uh, carrying case, kind of like just just see through. I put my my like uh, Hong Kong uh, travel stuff. My back, my old passport, just in case uh, some bank accounts. I have some stuff. My old work permits, some bank keys, other backup keys. That's there. Uh, Shenzhen. MTR and then um, this is for my Hong Kong travels so inside here I have a second wallet for uh, traveling in Hong Kong with uh, Hong Kong money then I have my just taking this in my pocket as I speak but this is my wallet for China with uh, not much cash don't use too much cash and then the name cards and ATM cards Back to the Hong Kong wallet, I got my adapters for Mac, and then these are two Hong Kong plugs that can adapt to China plugs or US plugs. Change purse, change purse is cool. For Hong Kong money, it's pretty pretty big. So this is my Hong Kong change purse. And then I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but I got my, this is my Shenzhen change purse with my keys here. Money. I don't have any coins from China right now. And 30 China money for 30 taxis and stuff. So let's just chuck that over here. Back in here, I got a pen that I hang around my neck when I'm in the Shenzhen Hong Kong border or other traveling borders. And just tons of these cards. And then, of course, my, my passport, which you can't even see where it's from. I don't want to show too much. Is this uh, video, but uh, pretty destroyed. That's my passport, and uh, that's what I carry. Also, I carry this around sometimes. Some, I don't always carry this, but this is like a a clip on for a video. So I'm using a tripod to record the video today, but this is another clip that can hold a camera, so I can record uh, videos on the go. Ding, there's a couple more things. Put that and here is my backpack. This is a Timbuktu from San Francisco. Will Lee, I know you're watching this because you love these stuff. And I got like my medicine in here, toothbrush, aspirin, uh, some toilet paper because in China you need to BYOTP. And back here, actually I forgot, I have Bluetooth um, keyboard from Rapu, Rapu, and uh, like a little padding, some pens, 
and a couple more, you know, earphones. The lighting's getting cut out here. The earphones, some name cards, some other receipts, some bag bags for some stuff. Uh, my China learning notebook. Forgot about that. Try and learn Chinese. Side view for my laptop, and some clips and other stuff. And then uh, the phone I'm talking on. Okay, I had to switch cameras because uh, I've been recording most with this Samsung Note 3. Uh, I freaking love this thing. I've got it so hooked up. Tons of apps. Maybe I can do another, whole other thing about the apps I use. But um, I use this to record most of the videos that I'm going to do and everything. And it's also connected to a uh, smartwatch Pebble. Got this for free from a buddy there so uh check in on foursquare like all the time check my evernote get notifications on my phone alerts and then this little adapter that is on the tripod i'm using to uh to connect to connect a uh phone to a tripod and then i forgot this this didn't show too well but i thought it'd be funny to end i use a surgical mask sometimes um carry that with me to uh if i want to i've actually done interviews in hospitals and stuff so uh just sometimes I carry this when I interview people there, and uh, it's a lot of a lot of fun. It's my life, uh, my gear. Hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, and that that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a little bit long. I don't think my videos would normally be that long. It's uh, late at night. I've been editing this after uh, recording that this afternoon. I'm back home. Just finished reading The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss to my kid. Um, I'm going to try to upload this and uh, I hope um, my, my plans are maybe I'm going to do more product reviews of uh, company products in China that are being made and uh, share them on, on the video too. So any feedback about this I, I want to improve so let me know. <laughs>